if we can uh, prefabricate concrete uh, wall panels and floor panels, it saves on a lot of on-site labour. It's going to save you money by having less waste on site, less man manpower on site. So we've got less crew, so there's an increased speed to get the job done. It's the savings that come from finishing the job sooner, uh, which is often underrated. You know, uh, obviously speed of construction is what we're after and they get a great benefit with, with precast. So it's not unusual for us to offer time savings in the order of, say, six to eight weeks on a mid-rise multi-residential project. On this particular job, for instance, we received the drawings uh, issued for construction last Monday and uh, they're being delivered one week later, so seven days later. It's just a lot faster than obviously doing form work and doing an in situ deck. Um, yeah, pretty much to drop a floor in, in a day on top of your form work. Uh, spark these plumbers up there next day, and then you start your steel. So you can pretty much turn a floor around in a week from landing your panels to pouring and landing walls on top of it. And if there's an opportunity to reduce the amount of concrete and also reduce the amount of reinforcement, um, that delivers huge sustainability advantages. Any sort of building system that minimises handling on site, be it taking it in or taking it out, or just moving it around on the deck, um, has to be an advantage on site, it just frees up space for the contractor to, to put his work together and to come through with his following trades. All those jobs had a very tight turnaround between the construction phase and the fitting out trades, well, literally one floor below, so it really speeded up construction. Easy and quick options, just a big jigsaw puzzle really. Safety is, is, is um, I guess, in increased, or, or potential for, for, for hazards are, are reduced because there's, there's less, less labour on site. Safety side, it's um, a lot cleaner on site. No form work there, so I've had a lot of visitors here on site. They're real surprised with how tidy the site is. Not really cluttered. There's a lot more space to uh, store materials and stuff. Um, our trades are getting in there straight away. So in terms of safety, we've got less um, site numbers on the project. And a lot of this is organised well and truly beforehand and before it's needed because obviously, you know, it's not like you're going into Kmart and pulling off a couple of things off the shelves. These are all bespoke elements. They're all individually numbered, they're all individually manufactured, they're all individually checked. And so it's got to be done properly. So there is a lot of coordination that goes on in the background to ensure that the product comes to site in the sequence that it's got to go in. Um, so that it can be installed. So we work very closely with both the, uh, the builder and uh, the installers. We find that when we've um, already won a customer over to a precast solution, that from then on that they engage us very early in their tender and look at a precast solution. But then there's other jobs that come out to tender in traditional formwork and then we have a job to do to convert that as quickly as we can to a precast solution. Once you've got that process going, they'll design the um, the, the formwork system and the reinforcement uh, basically takes that off our consultant's plate. So that's a good benefit in itself. Because we had one package and one company looking after the full project from a precast point of view, it meant that there was one point of contact, very, very easy to de deal with detailing. But also at the same time we worked with the, uh, the architect um, to uh, look at certain elements which were very, very difficult to, uh, to manufacture as they were designed because of our initial involvement, we were asked to, uh, to develop the precast further. I love the sort of the monolithic feel of precast, that it has that um, 
I guess the smoothness and the solidity of it just gives it a lot more presence. And the base of the building was that it was a lotus seed, which has four pods, and hence that was replicated basically in the pods, the shape of them precast, and then once again it was on the on the external with all these, the facade, we had to turn the baguettes to obviously make that, that same pattern which follows around the building. These have got um, some very big transfers, we've got some big cantilevers, we've got a really dynamic um, structure uh, and it's all been put together like a kit of parts so it's going to look like a beautiful finished, I think in the end the end result is going to be sort of like an absolute jewel, sort of like a beautiful building that's just um, immaculately put together and I think that's the quality that you can get through precasting. Columns typically are very small panels which mean they're relatively expensive to fabricate and they're relatively expensive to install. So what we were able to do on this project was to increase the columns to double height columns so there are only half the number of panels to make and only half the number of panels to install and that really helped us with efficiency and it helped the overall price. And the double height precast columns it is something new in the industry and it's definitely worked here for Grocon at Parklands. And the stairs not something we've done um, on past projects but the precast stairs was adopted um, because it meant that we can get access to the working deck at all times so the precast stairs come in directly and installed behind the precast stair cores. A lot of structural elements that you, um, that you find on building sites when they're done in situ, they don't look too pretty because they can't get the finishes that they need. With the precast that we've got here, it's both a structural element and an architectural element all in one. And so there are significant um, cost savings in terms of dematerialisation by using high quality precast structural slash architectural elements.